basic welcome back to my channel this is Rio Ben Lardy Zabel if you're new here and you like magic do consider subscribing me down below and press the bell button for the notifications for more of my latest magic videos mga ka basic kumusta kayo how are you guys today I'm going to be reacting one of my idols in magic isa sa mga idol ko is of course David Stone. David Stone inspired me to be the best close-up magician. Sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam kung sino si David Stone, isa po siyang magician from France. So into this video, I'm going to be reacting David Stone performing on Penn and Teller Fullas. So mga kabasic, because isang idol ko si David Stone, I have here a sample video of me performing one of his signature tricks. Check this out. Okay, David Stone, I would like to give a shout out to the people who have commented on my latest video. Clintoy Forever, Clintoy, Charles Perez, Robert Ball, Magician, Durgles Galolo, Enzo Pitt, Group. Okay, Durgles Galolo, you've commented twice, Durgles Galolo, Lin, Lina Smith, The Fabulous Fitness, Zion Stewart, Mark Gaming PH, Virgil Ken Arojo, Zil Roblox, Saba Humphreys, Kuya Dudes Channel, subscribe kayo guys kay Kuya Dudes Channel, Aya Barnes, Nelvin Raspado, yo bro, Robbie, Jake, Andres. Thank you so much guys for having the time on watching my videos. So mga kabasic, if you want to see me live do magic tricks and of course teach magic and you know magic jam sessions, please install the app Bigo because I am gonna be live every single day 9pm onwards on Bigo. And if you want to learn free magic tricks, there is a description down below, just click it. So mga kabasic, no more talking, let us see if David Stone can fool Penn and Teller. Let's find out. Welcome back. We've had one fooler so far, but there could be more. Here's our next potential fooler. I'm French, but when I perform in America, I banish the French cliches. You will get no accordions. No Eiffel Tower and no champagne for me. Most magicians show their strengths. I make comedy from my insecurities. For example, I have a lisp. In French, we call it cheveux sur la langue, the hair on the tongue. And on stage, I cure myself by making the hair of the tongue go away. It is my most popular effect. My biggest fear is I will be forgotten. Tonight, I want to do something that will make Penn and Teller remember me. Right, one of my idols in magic, si David Stone, mga kabasic. Let's see. Hello to French magician David Stone. Ano magagawa niya ngayon? Tonight, Uy, I would like to show you card. a simple card trick with only one card, but not any card. A debit card that I'd like to borrow from any gentleman in the audience. So if you are a gentleman with a debit card and you want to have fun tonight, please raise your hand now. Okay, don't worry. I will not make your card vanish. <laughs> Sir, anybody? You do have a debit card on you? Thank that you was so clean, guys. The most important information on any bank card is actually on the back. That's okay. why I will cover it with a sticker. Thank you for right. bringing me your a debit, debit card. card. Don't worry, I will just cover the information. Are you sure this is a debit card? Yes. Yes? Yes, it is. <laughs> so please, keep it and sit right over there, gently. And more important, relax. Because tonight, with your card, we're going to have a lot of fun. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I ask you to yell out loud, live on national television, your PIN code number, you wouldn't do it, right? Yeah, no. No, that's no. why I have exactly <laughs> what you need for you. It's a microphone. No need to yell. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand your hesitation. But you know what? I have ways to guess your pin number by magic. Just by asking anybody in the audience. Just like, 
pen, for example. Could you please name any two-digit number? 72. 72. 72. And please tell her, could you mime two-digit number? Three, three and five. Seven, two, three, five. five. Honestly, sir, is 72. 35, 72, 35, your pin code number, and be honest. Oh. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> Actually, you paid $72.35. 32, 75, you didn't guess the pin code, guys. You guessed something else. Sir, on the back of my brand new jacket, there is a tag with a price on it Whoa. can you please read it out loud and say if you see a number on it what do you read seven two three five that's Whoa. amazing Whoa. nice nice you guessed the exact price of the jacket i took from the shop and he just paid for it i love this country <laughs> what's that excuse me oui hello <laughs> oh this is your banker he said not to worry, your card is now frozen. It is blocked. It's all good now. No problem. In wow! Oh, means uh, thank you in French. Excuse my French. What just happened there? <laughs> Do you want to find your card back? Yes, please. Yes, please stand there. Do you trust me? Yeah. Uh, it's a little yeah. Please turn around because I am... Turn around, okay, perfect. And bend over slightly. <laughs> <laughs> the usual no, comedy here of David Stone. To take the cooler, no, to take the cooler and shake it completely closed, <laughs> but there is no opening in it. No SOS opening. Organs. Can you please put it here? Okay. Inside the cooler, there is a box. Inside the cooler, there is a box. I don't know if you... Can you please take the box by yourself? I don't want to touch it because I am a professional. Take the box and make sure. If the box <laughs> completely sealed, the box is sealed, no opening, that's why I will use a knife to... Op I... Oh, yes! Oh, yes! It's okay, I'm fine. I'm all good, come over. I'm going to cut this. Can you please open it and say out loud what do you see inside the, the, the box? What do you see inside the box? Package. Okay. Can you There's please put the box inside? Put the box package inside. Mark a basic. Inside uh. the bag. Come over here. Inside the bag, there is a surprise for you. Yeah. There is kind of a present. It's big. You can touch it. You can feel. You see? Yeah. Is it big? Yeah. Yes. Please. Do you see? Can you see? Can you see the eyes in it? Yep. Yeah, you can see it. And can you see what, what, what's next to the eyes? <laughs> no, it's not the hammer. It's a present. Yeah. <laughs> to thank you because you know uh, your, when your bunker called earlier and said that your card is blocked and frozen, uh, well, it is really blocked and frozen in a block. Of I. Whoa. May I block like this? Can you please break it? Make sure just the break link? it. Yes, yes, break. Are you lying? Well, that's the purpose of the hammer. Okay, let me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Please take, take, take your card. Take your card. Yes, is it really your card inside? Yeah. And, 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 and. It still works! <laughs> so I'm gonna pause it for a while, mga basic. Comment down below what you think of David Stone's performance. This is actually uh, uh, the best, I think, performance that I've seen by David Stone. Uh, of course, some of his tricks I've seen a lot, but this is something new. Let us see if he can fool Penn and Teller with this magic. Let's find out. 
just kept going and going. I tried to create a story, and most of the time the story becomes funny, because when it's funny, it's easier for you to perform, especially when you are, um, uh, when you have stage fright, you know, when you're nervous. Do you get correct, stage correct. fright? Oh, always, every time, e even when I am with my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you get over your stage fright? Well, uh, actually, to take it out, I just, um, I make people laugh, you know, and then I see that people like it, then I can start to be more in my script and tell them the story of the trick. Shall we find out if you fooled the boys? Uh, genius, I don't know. such a see. genius magician. Bye. Oh, man, uh, people come here to see magic and getting an audience to just laugh all the way through routine is really, really hard. And as a second language, amazing you just have the audience with the palm of your hand and in doing that you were able to justify all sorts of stuff that a magician who didn't have the audience loving him would never be able to get away with i mean we want to get a few things out of the way the jacket we believe your tailor is in las vegas and his name paul v hill mm -hmm. and uh to be funny <laughs> enough and lovable enough and have the plot go strong enough that you can turn your back on the audience in order to do stuff is amazing. And the, what this trick is called for people at home is object in an impossible location. Okay. And we have never seen that impossible location be inside a block of ice. Uh, it was just astonishing in that way and beautiful. And uh, we just loved everything about it. And I, I hate to uh, compliment you all this and say how great you are and then end with kind of a cold shoulder but uh, i do not think you fooled us so oh. do you know that they know yeah i know what they mean yes oh, unfortunately i do agree with the two genius tonight <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you david stone thank you too bad so there you have it guys, that was David Stone Maka Basic, one of my idols in close-up magic. Sad to say he didn't fool Penn and Teller, but David Stone, if you're watching this, congratulations! So anyway, Maka Basic, comment down below what you think of David Stone's performance. So here are my thoughts on the performance of David Stone. First and foremost, napakaganda ng performance niya. So nice, all of the things, humor and magic combined together. His comedy magic was actually so, so good. Uh, one thing that I can actually remember, he actually used, uh, of course, the debit machine where you know you input the pass your pin code. That was so funny, and of course, meron din yung cutter na nahulog lang dun sa likod ng table niya. Of course, na set set up sa chair niya. I'm pretty sure na set up niya yung shoes na may cutter. It was so so hilarious. Na uh, actually, marami siyang na add na mga uh, comedy magic sa mga routines niya. And second thing, what I can say is that napakaganda ng concept niya because the possible location, it's actually my first time to see that type of magic where yung debit card nag-end up sa block of ice. It was an impossible magic for me. To sum it up, if you actually listen carefully to Penn, I, can, I really don't know what he actually meant about Paul Vigil's jacket, about Las Vegas. But I think it's too unfair that he didn't talk more about the technique. Why did the debit card ended in the block of ice? So for me, it was so unfair for David Stone just to agree that these two gentlemen, Penn and Teller, are the geniuses. But they didn't actually explain quite well the method of his magic. Nevertheless, I actually saw David Stone's new magic. It was so, so good. Uh, whatever the outcome is, I'm pretty sure David Stone is still the best close-up magician. So anyway, mga kabasic, thank you so much for watching my video. If you did like this video, like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel down below and press the bell button for the notifications for more of my latest magic videos. So guys, don't forget to follow me on Bigo, Instagram, TikTok. Maraming maraming salamat. And also, don't forget to like my Facebook page. Again, my name is Ruben Lardizab. I'll see you in my next video.